Your doctor orders a CMP. What does CMP stand for? What is this even testing for? What if there's a bold value? Similar to last week with the CBC, let's break it down. A CMP stands for a comprehensive metabolic panel. Now that's misleading because it's really a comprehensive metabolic screening. Why do I say that? Because nothing is ever really diagnosed from a CMP result, but we'll certainly explore more specialized diagnostic panels if a CMP comes back wonky. A CMP is a great way to rule out metabolic conditions or to act as a launch point for more comprehensive evaluations. We find metrics of kidney health, metrics of liver and digestive health, and metrics of overall nutritional status. When we're looking at your kidneys, we look at how much blood is being filtered every minute, how well your kidney is filtering and regulating electrolytes and nitrogen and other things in your blood. And we also get a proxy for acid-base balance by looking at your CO2 levels. An example of this is I often work with younger females with post-concussion syndrome who have mildly low CO2 in their results. They ask me what it means, and I ask them, hey, how nervous were you about the needle for that blood draw? These barely low CO2 values are often secondary to fast, shallow breathing when you're nervous. You blow off extra CO2 around the time of the blood draw, but otherwise you have normal pH balance. Similar to my notes in the CBC video, only some bold values are something to sweat over. There are often benign and normal physiological processes behind many results. And please note that the CO2 example is not limited to women. Many men get nervous around needles too. When thinking about the liver, most people only think about it processing alcohol and medications if they think about it beyond alcohol at all. We use bilirubin, alkaline phosphatase, AST, and ALT as metrics for gall gallbladder and liver health. So for example, when we see AST and ALT rising a lot, like 10 times above normal, it can indicate liver damage. Nutritionally, we'll look at total protein compared to globulin and albumin. Both of these are types of proteins within that total protein. Low numbers here in any variation could indicate low dietary intake. For example, there are vegan folks uh, who don't, are, aren't conscious of complete amino acid intake. And then in other spectrums, there's folks with liver problems that result in impairments in protein production. Nutritionally, we also look at fasting glucose, but a single glucose measurement doesn't really tell us much. When you consider everything we can assess in a CMP and a CBC, you can see why these are two of the most commonly ordered tests around. Remember that not all bolded lab values indicate pathology or disease is present and to chat with your doctor for any clarification. It's your health, it's your body, it's your life. Ask questions.